Hello everyone, welcome back to The Wandering Wind. Today I want to talk a bit about uh, what is going on with um, Genshin Impact because we have some inter some interesting news regarding what MiHoYo is doing about its game being um, censored by the Chinese Communist Party or the CCP. Now... As it stands, since MiHoYo's company headquarters is located in in China, um, they are under the purview and kind of the restrictions of the Chinese Communist Party and their agenda, which is very much anti, um, well, anti anything that might challenge the establishment. And unfortunately, even... Um, even uh, video games can be considered to be challenging the status quo there. So recently they've been having a lot of issues with uh, censorship and just constantly getting the red light about different things because either the themes of the story or whatever do not fit what they think are good values because, say, something is too violent or something is too left-leaning or whatever. So, um, what MiHoYo has basically done to uh, fix this entire issue is they are going and replacing their uh, entire, I guess, um, publishing department with a subsidiary that they have called Cognosphere. So, um, this is from Sports Kita. MiHoYo released Genshin Impact on Epic Games in June this year, and due to recent developments, a change has appeared on the store page. Genshin Impact's publishing company has now changed to Cognosphere on the Epic Games store. The game is still much, very much a MiHoYo product, but the Cognosphere transfer may hold some implications for Gen Genshin Impact moving forward. In a recent Hoyo Lab article, Genshin Impact announced their publishing company has changed to Cognosphere PTE L LTD on the Epic Games store. The transfer is already visible on Epic Games as Cognosphere will be responsible to, for the publishing duties for the foreseeable future. Genshin Impact has now followed several other MiHoYo games in the transition to Cognosphere, including Tears of Themis. The publisher change for Tears of Themis and other titles has drawn attention from much of MiHoYo's player base. To clarify, MiHoYo will still be the developer. Cognosphere, a Singapore-based company, has simply taken over the publishing. Genshin Impact has promised to maintain quality work Though they are yet to disclose the reason for the change. Naturally, fans are curious. For now, there seems to be just one popular rumor about this transition, and it concerns censorship. As the Reddit post above illustrates, which says, MiHoYo has a new proxy publishing label called Cognosphere. Don't be alarmed if you see a different name under your billing history. As the Reddit post above illustrates, Cognosphere is likely something of a subsidiary to MiHoYo. Essentially, it seems that MiHoYo has set up a new company for the sole pur purpose of publishing the game. According to reasons, according to rumors, the reason for these developments is to escape government regulations on gaming. Which makes sense. I mean, to be fair, a publishing company is only subject to the laws of the company where it is located. So if, say, a company in the U.S. is under those laws, but then they they make a company in the U.K. be responsible for the publishing of, the, of that game, then the game falls under the U.K. law and not the U.S. law. The U.S.-based company can be in charge of of development, but since they are not publishing the game, the laws for publication changes. That is a very standard practice in order to get away and get around 
censorship issues in places like China and North Korea, where a lot of uh, gaming companies especially are strictly monitored and also um, just really, really pressured into not including themes and conversations that directly would contradict what the ruling party says should be. So, for example, if there were a conversation in the main story quest of Genshin Impact that would uh, say question the authority or legitimacy of a governmental body similar to the CCP, um, then that would really run afoul of the Chinese Communist Party's um, sensibilities, if they even have any, that basically say that in order to remain in power, we need to keep um, the discourse that goes against us to a minimum, and we also need to, at the very minimum, silence anyone that may raise points that may point against us and towards a better solution or a better system, because as long as we want to remain in power, we have to control the thoughts and will of the people. So that's uh, that's basically the uh, news in a nutshell. What do you guys think? Do you think this is a good move for MiHoYo? I mean, I, I personally think it would be a, a good move just in the fact that um, now they can avoid China's game censorship and um, they can really move away from the limitations on just, well, a lot of things, including limiting big rewards for uh, free-to-play players, because really that's the reason why we haven't had a whole lot of um, huge Primo Gem giveaways until this last week. And I, am, I imagine that this last week, the reason why we have the 1600 Primo Gem giveaway is because now that um, Cognosphere is taking over publishing rights, the laws are, are, slack, are, are a bit slackened and allow for bigger rewards to entice newer players, which makes sense, but also in a way is also devious because now this will just be a, a, an easier gateway into addictive spending because if you get free Primo Gems, then you won't pay Primo Gems, but beyond that, I think it's just the main... The main focus right now will probably be on keeping the content as it is, keeping the content as um, uh, as faithful to the original aim of the of the game as possible, and that will hopefully carry on into future updates and future content releases as we move forward. Who knows? But I hope that this is a positive change for Genshin Impact and for MiHoYo as a whole. Anyway. That's just my two cents. I hope you guys have some thoughts of your own. I would love to hear them in the comments section down below. Until next time, thank you for watching, and have a wonderful evening. God bless you. I'll see you again soon.